Hey, in this video, I'm going to share with you how to get 10 unique weapons in the game. Now, these weapons include knives, tomahawks and hatchet these are not the most glamorous weapons in the game as compared to shotguns rifles and pistols however there are times that you need to go in stealth mode and arrows are not the most effective weapons in the game here i'm going to demonstrate how you can kill an alligator instantly with just one throw of the tomahawk Okay, now let's just jump into the first location which is at the north of Riesley's is right here in this spot. Now, the first item is an ancient tomahawk with a striped bound shaft and polished sharp blade. Well, although showing some signs of age, this weapon has been well maintained by one of the locals. The Ancient Tomahawk is one of the best weapons in the game for stealth, offering a one-hit kill at close range. Weapon number 2 can be found to the west of Valentine to the north of the Little Creek River. Now this second weapon is called the Antler's Knife. It is a melee weapon type which is ideal for hunting and animals. This weapon was taken from the scene of a fight between a large bear and a hunter. This is a rare knife with a handle manufactured from the antler of a stag and part of the blade snapped off near the cross guard. Weapon number 3 is located between St. Denis and Annisburg. Well, this item is found in a storage room beneath an abandoned fort. It was commonly used by Civil War soldiers and is covered in rust. Building, there is a stairway behind some crates. Once you get to the bottom, you might want to use your lamp or your dead eye to locate this item. Other than this knife, there are a couple of useful things that you can find in this basement, including a gold nugget. Another unique item you can find here is the Civil War hat. Well, it's a cool item that you can add to your collection of outfits. Item number 4 can be found here next to the Wallace Station. This item is a double bit hatchet. It is a melee type weapon which is ideal for hunting. These rare hatchets appears to be fairly new, featuring a double-headed head, one razor sharp side and the other slightly dull. A weapon number 5 can be found at the Moonstone Pond here at the flattened cabin. Well, this item is the hewing hatchet and you guessed it, find this in a tree stump on the south side of the moonstone pond.
Item number 7 can be found at the Window Rock above the Cumberland Forest. Well, this hunter hatchet is a melee weapon that appears to be fairly new. It is a rare hatchet with a long bearded axe bit that allows for greater control. Item number 7 can be found in a cluster of islands southwest of St. Denis. Now be careful when you enter this area because it is dominated by alligators. When you have arrived here, look for an abandoned boat that was ran adrift. In the boat, you will find a broken pirate sword. Well, these pirate sword has a longer range than most bladed melee weapon and is a practical combat weapon despite its age. Number 8 location is to the southwest of Ennisburg. In this location, you can find a rusted hunter hatchet. It is a melee weapon found in a tree stump near Three Sisters in the Grizzlies. It has been worn by the elements over time. This is a rare hatchet with a long bearded axe bit that allows for greater control. Weapon number 9 can be found at this location north of Ennisburg. Located here is the Viking Hatchet. It can be found in an old stone altar in the area of New Hanover, lodged into a skull. Oh, this is a rare ancient hatchet engraved all over with Nordic patterns and bound with leather. But well, since you're already here, venture further inside and you will find another unique item. On display along with some skeleton skulls is a viking helmet. Lastly, item number 10 can be found to the north of Strawberry here in the Big Valley. In this area, look for an abandoned mine. Well, the previous owner of this weapon went to great lengths to prevent their crime from being discovered. But do not worry, trace this line back to some explosive and you will be able to clear the path. Now, make your way to the back of the tunnel. Well, 
Well, this white blade knife can be found sticking out the back of a corpse deep inside. It is a rare hunting knife with a white clip point blade and a worn curved wooden handle. Now, after all this hard work, you will be rewarded with a gold nugget. Well, that's all for this video. If it helped, please leave a like. It would mean so much to me. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification.